Access to application and cloud data is a universal challenge. Often this data is decentralized and locked behind proprietary APIs and databases. CData Connect is a complete solution to your connectivity challenges. It is a data hub that can be hosted in the cloud, on-premise, or in hybrid models that simplifies live data access. Through CData Connect, users can define virtual databases for any of the 200 plus supported data sources. These virtual resources appear as relational databases. However, instead of storing data, SQL queries are translated into API calls in real time. Business applications can connect to CData Connect as if it were a SQL database, and read and write data from SaaS applications like Salesforce, NetSuite, Marketo, or even big data platforms like MongoDB or Google BigQuery. CData Connect Cloud provides connectivity to all of your data from any cloud-based BI, reporting and ETL tool, application framework, or development language that supports SQL connections, including Google Data Studio, SAP Analytics Cloud, Tableau Online, frameworks like React and Angular, languages like Python, and more. CData Connect installed on-premise provides consolidated connectivity to all of your data with unlimited client applications, including BI tools like Tableau and Power BI, development frameworks like .NET, ETL tools like Alteryx and CloverDX, and more. CData Connect, whether installed on-premise or in the cloud, allows you to create secure connections using encryption standards when moving data across the wire and allowing you to create users with customizable access to the virtual databases for your business data. To create a new user, navigate to the Users tab and click Add. Create a name for the user, create a password, and click Save Changes. At this point, you can add privileges to any of the databases previously configured by adding the user. You can even configure specific privileges for that user. In this case, we have a read-only user with select-only privileges for the database. The endpoints available can be found on the Endpoints tab. MySQL and TDS or SQL Server endpoints mean that any application that can connect to relational databases can connect to the platform. OData is available as a REST entry point for those applications that only support HTTP-based interaction. On the same tab, you can configure trusted IP addresses. To add specific OData endpoints, navigate to the OData tab and click Tables. Click Add. Select the database you wish to add an OData endpoint for, and select the table you wish to enable OData access for. You can configure the OData endpoint to enable specific operations and select specific column. With the endpoint created, we can navigate to the API tab to review the API documentation for the OData endpoint. You can configure OData settings by clicking on the OData tab and clicking Settings. In the default service settings, you can set the server-side paging size, default format, and default version. You can configure the auth token lifetime and default user settings, and you can also configure cross-origin resource sharing. In the cross-origin resource sharing section, you can enable cores and configure those settings that are specific to cores. CData Connect supports querying across different data sources by using built-in query federation. You can see this in action in the Data Explorer tab on the Data Model page. On the Data Explorer tab, you can explore the schema available for each data connection and run custom queries to preview the functionality. Here we join the account data from our Salesforce connection to the opportunity data from our Snowflake connection, finding the total opportunity amount by state. We can save the federated query as a derived view making it available from all of our third-party tools, platforms, and applications. Derived views are complex queries that can be queried on demand, helping organizations simplify how dispersed datasets are used across analytics and data management. 
For more information on CData Connect and to sign up for a free trial, visit cdata.com connect and see the CData difference for yourself.